Okay. I'm okay. Can you introduce yourself before we get started? Sure. My name is Jacqueline Jackson. I'm an urban farmer. Uh, great, great, great. All right. So tell us about what you, what we got growing here. Uh, we, we got a lot of beautiful plants and things growing. Absolutely. Break, I break it down. Break The camera is now yours. Okay. Break well, I guess we'll start from where we're standing right here. Um, these are some new seedlings that we're putting in right now. Um, these are collards. So Collards. if you take a look down here, these are more mature collards. Uh, we've had these collards in about, I'll say, right at the beginning of fall when we um, installed these. So you can see here, we've harvested quite a bit. That's why you see the structure here. Mm. Okay, so whenever you harvest like your, um, like your collards, um, your lettuces, things like that, um, you start from your bottom leaf and then you work your way up so at first it's gonna the plant is gonna be much smaller it's gonna shoot off some leaves and then as the plant grows more leaves will be produced and then you just kind of harvest from the out you from from the bottom up oh. so that's why you see a stalk right here mm -hmm. so these, are those about ready to come off oh well i would give them another week to grow um can you eat them at this stage absolutely um, but um, this particular variety is called Georgia, Georgia, Georgia. collard. Mm -hmm. These are Georgia collards, and the leaves grow pretty big. So, but you can still eat them at this at this stage here. Mm -hmm. The Georgia collard. Okay, all the seeds that we use are completely organic or heirloom, so there's no hybrids or GMO. Uh, we don't use any of those um, types of seeds. Um, same thing with our fertilizer. We use um, usually like an earthworm casting type fertilizer. Um, plant food, we use like your basic bone and blood meal um, and also black cow as far as our compost. So everything is completely natural, completely organic, no pesticides. We don't spray. Uh, we don't use any boosters. So you're just talking about basic fertilizer, compost light <laughs> water yeah. so everything is completely organic that's so, that's so, that's so. <laughs> and these are also with the top bed from the top bed okay here, so up all here to the bottom all these are the same no they're not the same so oh. the bottom level here all of these are collards oh all, the, all these the bottom level mm -hmm. all the entire collards. bottom level are collards so this was the first round of collards that you see so that's why you can see the leaves are a little bit bigger mm -hmm. versus if you look over here if you swivel over here Okay, these are collars as well, but they're smaller because they're more younger. Mm -hmm. So they're oh. younger. And then now you see the ones that's even younger than that on this tray. <laughs> oh, so wait, this is the baby one. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. They even start even smaller. <laughs> so this is when oh, it wait. first sprouts. Then first it comes sprout. to this stage. And then, you, and oh, then that stage there mm -hmm. is kind of a little bit more mature. And then you get to here. Yeah. Oh, and then it turns to that? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. We just harvested yesterday, so you we didn't get a chance to um, um, save, save that footage where you could have seen the leaves be even bigger. So, oh. so yeah. All right. And so up here at top, this entire row on this side here is Swiss chard. Um, this is chard. green Swiss chard. Mm hmm Swiss chard is like, um, as far as if you want to say taste, it tastes almost like spinach, mm -hmm. but the leaf is just a little bit more structured than like the leafy spinach. Mm -hmm. And that's this whole top row, all, mm -hmm. these all the way down. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. How and we you... have harvested off of there. So that's why you will see, like you can see where it looks like the leaves are a little broken. It's only because we just harvested. That was my next question. Mm -hmm. like, how do you know? Is it still like the, the broken short of leaves? How do you know when to pull it? Yeah, so it depends on the size. Like if you wanted to harvest something that's uh, more like a baby, you can harvest it at this stage. This is more like a baby switch chart. If you want a more mature um, leaf, then this is a great start um, stage to harvest it at. Um, I usually harvest it at least this stage here. Now switch chart, the leaves can grow bigger than my hand. Oh, wow. But I just like to harvest it at this stage. Um, when I think about eating salads, you know, you can mm -hmm. easily eat this versus a leaf that's like bigger than your hand. Even though, I mean, I've done it. It's it's still pretty tasty. Yeah. How <laughs> so, cool. Yeah. Let me move some of my things out of your way. Sorry. <laughs> can you, uh, I want you to break down what we got over here. Would you explain about the nets or whatnot? Sure. 
sure okay so over here uh, we're growing so this bottom level still this is still um collards here so these are collards still all these are collards mm -hmm, on the bottom level so all the way down collards is uh, one that people love to grow in the fall <laughs> yeah all right so up top here uh, we have several varieties of radish um this variety here is french breakfast french breakfast, french breakfast. yeah french breakfast it's kind of a longer kind of elongate um let's see here uh i can pull one out mm -hmm. usually they grow just a little bit longer yeah. I, I used to, my, my grandmother used to grow these and I used radish? to radish? Yeah, oh yeah, radish now. Like they're they're spicy but they're really good. Mm hmm Great for a nice salad. Mm -hmm. I'll definitely uh take me one. Yeah. <laughs> I just gotta wash it off, but yeah. So that's they like some pebbles. <laughs> yeah. So that's French breakfast. Um, the other variety that we have over here is um, a cherry bell. So it's more of a round. Yeah, I thought these was different. They look a little different. Yeah, yep. Some are a mixture of the. Um, let's see here. Yeah. Yep. Some did grow a little bit longer. And yeah. That's a pink variety there. A radish. This one. Yeah, you can eat it. It's it's totally safe. <laughs> oh, I'm a veggie head. Okay, okay. I, I, we want to wash that one up for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll wash it up for you. Yeah, I'll definitely take we'll that. We'll save that one to the side. <laughs> yeah, save it to the side. To the side. I'll take it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, we just gotta wash it off. <laughs> yeah. All right, so these are radishes. Um, here we have arugula. So both sides here oh, are this arugula. This earlier, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, arugula is one of those, I always say, you either love it or you're going to hate it. Mm -hmm. So arugula um, is a leafy vegetable. It's a leafy green. Mm -hmm. And um, it has a kind of spicy, pungent taste to it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so you either love it or not love so much. Love it or hate it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can taste it. It's, it's ready to go. Like you can eat it. Oh, yeah. Let me take a, take a picture and you take a bite. I already know what it tastes like. <laughs> you know what I'm not. Yes, so you got no run up with No, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love radish. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I love the snack on arugula. <laughs> hey. <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh, did you get a chance to taste some arugula? I didn't. Okay, get you a couple little spritz there. Here the you go. Here you go. Go ahead and take. Yeah, yeah. You're good. Get you a bigger leaf than that. There you go. Playing with it. Playing games. Oh, that's flavor. Mm-hmm. Spicy. Yeah. Uh huh. Spicy. Yeah. You know what I thought about? What's that? I ain't gonna say it. Okay. Not on camera. Okay. What these is at the bottom? Oh, those are collars too. Oh. Oh no, the rubber. Wait, so. Yeah, this entire. That's right. That's right. That's right. All this here and all of this here is um, are all um, collards. And these in the middle, you said are peas. These are peas. Yes. So these are peas. Yep, sweet peas. So we're gonna put a netting here. So what the what we're gonna do is hopefully they'll go ahead and grab on to the netting. If they'll drop down low enough. It'll grab onto the netting. These are called tendrils. So these here, where you see it kind of curling a little bit, these are tendrils. So what they're going to do is latch on to the netting, and then it's going to continue to trellis up. Yeah, last year, last well, not last year, last um, season, we had tomatoes. Mm -hmm. So we also had like your, like you see here, um, where we had the tomatoes planted here and we kind of wrapped them around here and they just continue to go to the top. Mm -hmm. So we had all cherry tomatoes on both sides in the center. So this time we're doing um, peas. Yep, and that's more arugula over there too. And they're ready to go. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs>
Huh? And the radish. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yep. And this here is the. Um, let's see. This is a cherry bell. So these are going to be a little bit more rounded. Mm -hmm. So the cherry bell is more oh, rounded. They can. See. I harvest this one a little soon just now, but they're a little bit more. Can we eat the green? Can you eat this one? Uh, I want to eat that. Okay. That's just not me on the, I mean, on the radish. Some people do. Yep. So that's a cherry bell. They're usually more rounded. I just harvest that one kind of, you know, soon there. But it's still ready. You can, you know, some people eat it at this this stage here, like a baby radish. Oh. Um, but they grow just a little bit more rounded. Take it to the side. Yep. Yes. That's cherry bell. Okay, some more peas here in the center. And what we all love in our salads, spinach. Ah, oh, spinach. Mm-hmm. Same thing like oh, a look juicy. Mm-hmm. Go for it. Go for it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Need some salad dressing. Mm-hmm. There you go. <laughs> Enough spinach over there too. Um, these are just um two weeks behind this one here. So these are more mature. This is two weeks later. So they start off looking just like how you see it there. Then it starts getting a little bit more mature. Then your end results will be here. Mm-hmm. Oh, so I did what is called succession sowing. Succession so, sowing? Yes, yeah, succession sowing is when you. Mm -hmm. So, succession sowing is if you want to have vegetables throughout the entire season, mm -hmm. um, you may start maybe one row and then wait two more weeks and plant another row. Mm -hmm. So, now once I harvest this, then next this row will be ready. Then, once I harvest that, then this row will be ready. So you continuously will have. Continuously, yeah, that mm -hmm. makes sense. That mm -hmm. makes sense. Yep. Um, I guess behind here, um, this here, this entire row, is romaine lettuce. Yeah, now, of course, romaine lettuce can grow to a full head, like a head of lettuce, but um, it looks like this because we didn't allow it to go to a full head of lettuce. We allowed it to be a leafy green. So that's when you see it here, just like the collards, we start harvesting the leaves. And romaine is one that you can also eat. Raw. Mm -hmm. Yep, all of it you can eat raw. <laughs> and these at the okay, those we just came from. Look, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, so all many the of you almost on get the, them like mixed up. <laughs> yeah, all the collars on the bottom row. And I, I got, I came in here where y'all had the squash. Uh, okay, the yeah, yeah, the yeah, squash yeah. was over here and zucchinis. So you, yeah, so you traded, uh, you traded out. Uh, what are these again? These yeah. are collards. Collards so, and the other ones with Georgia collar. All these, everyone, that's the variety that we grow is the Georgia collars. The Georgia so All collar. of them are going to be Georgia collars. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we traded out the squash for the Georgia co collar. Yeah, I, um, what I did was turn over all these beds. So I replenished all the um, nutrients. Um, uh, your compost and everything and then I planted for the fall collars in these beds here yeah this one's gorgeous too oh uh, yeah mm -hmm. this one right here mm -hmm. that's like a steel shot right there <laughs> there is you go one, is that one like ready to, to harvest yeah you can harvest it um, if you want a smaller leaf or you can allow it to grow a little bit bigger and the leaves will be bigger than your hand so yeah <laughs> Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> this is like so. How many? Uh, how many? This look like a lot. How? Yeah. Like how many is what this considered to be? How many, as far as like plants? Not like with well, that too, but you know when you, your spinach is in the bag. Mm hmm You feel what I'm saying? Like how Will many? Will this be like a bag? Um, yeah. For a typical bag, um, let's see here. This, is a this lot. will probably be about a good five or six bags, possibly. Huh. Mm hmm. Yep. Interesting. Yep. yep. Good five or six bags. And it, what's going over there? We are, right now, we're still looking at um, possibly doing like strawberries or something like that over there. Um, even carrots. So right now, um, we're still, we're going to see. We're going to see. Okay. Um, the, the, what I love about that area there is those uh, troughs are deep enough if we did want to do 
um, carrots we can or if we want to throw strawberries in that's fine so that's what I love about this setup here you can it's endless yeah it's endless things of what you can grow in here and the bottom floor you can put something there like, yeah. oh yeah all you have to do is just make sure that you um, place your greenhouse in a, a good sunny spot mm -hmm. and um, yeah Absolutely. Okay. We'll be back with some audio footage in just a second. All Seems right. Really right. Yeah. <laughs> this is the cherry tomato. Gotta show the greatness of this thick one right here. How long? Um. How long did she she had these in? Two weeks. Now I can't wait to get like super tall to where you can. Some screen beans. Man, it's so dope. I see one on this one, like a bloom on this Yo, look how thick this is. There's a squash here. Man. Look at the roots. Man, these peppers and got big. here what you planning and where to get these like to start out yeah stuff like um sea starting trays you can find that easily like on even like amazon uh -huh. you know yeah. mm -hmm. so you started them in the tray and now you're just transporting them here to grow and get bigger and stuff yeah, exactly so, yeah. exactly um this process is a little different than if you look at this here this is a sea tray also mm -hmm. but you see they have individual pods mm -hmm. versus this one here is with soil blocks so the difference between the two I used a handheld, um, I guess you could say a handheld um, machine mm -hmm. where it allowed me to just use um, just soil okay. without the tray, the individual pod. All right. And I planted right into the soil. And what I love about soil blocks is, is that um, it prevents transplant shock. Hmm. So as you can see here, the entire plant is completely intact. Mm -hmm. The roots are here. Nothing is um, 
disturbed at all. The point don't get traumatized when you're trying <laughs> to pull it in. Okay, exactly. That's perfect. And I mean, both methods are good. Um, you just have to be careful. Mm-hmm. Um, but I would say with the soil block method, um, you really don't have to worry about transplant shock mm-hmm. um, versus the potential of transplant shock with those. With those. Mm-hmm. But as long as you're careful, you know, you can still pull it off. No, it's